just a summary of what was talked about. Of course, Sheikh Shaban told us the transition from ICZ to ICZ, the conflict of uh, uh, acronym IC, ICZ, uh, opposite invest of Zambia, the Islamic Center of Zambia, and then there was Islamic Supreme Islamic Council of Zambia. So they shared the same acronym. So nothing sinister to the change to Islamic Supreme Council of Zambia. He also encouraged us to uh, focus on presenting the facts. Always, as Muslims, we are supposed to be factual. And uh, also encouraged us to accept the umbrella bodyship of the Islamic Supreme Council of Zambia. I think this is the only institution where you got a say. There are many Islamic institutions uh, around, but uh, none of us would even call for elections or to look into the constitution. So we've got an organization which you can all rally behind. You will not go anywhere, trust me, nowhere where you're going to be accepted to be a part of the leadership, unless otherwise. And uh, we have got leaders of Masajid here, the Imams and Chairman and the likes. He also called for affiliation. We need to uh, affiliate our institutions, our Masajid, our organizations to the Supreme Council. Do not look at me, do not look at Sister Mariam, uh, Brother Chishala, Sheikh Shaban, whoever is in the council. Don't look at the faces of the individuals. It will benefit you uh, maybe now and in future to affiliate yourself uh, to the institution. So I think I, would, I was well encouraged that uh, we affiliate ourselves. Uh, that also will give the strength to the institution because these, these are some of the questions that come up Usually, who are your affiliates? Of course, our organization, Kubibot Muslim Youth, came into existence by the assistance of the Islamic Supreme Council, and we are proudly uh, affiliates of the institution. Um, Sheikh uh, Kisalita also talked about the importance of that. We have to read it, but we must understand why it was revealed. Only to who? Say, to who? To Muslims? No the non-Muslims. Call it, say, to who? Allah is one. You all know that Allah is one. But some people don't know about Allah. You know, it uh, claimed the issues that uh, pertain to them being refused to take, you know, to uh, take the dial programs at a particular place, which was very unfortunate. And uh, he said they were, were come somewhere. Because they were chased somewhere, he gave us a saying in, their, uh, in his Rwandan, uh, Ugandan language, he says, the one who chases you away, um, shows you the way. So they were chased away, and the way was shown to them. So very good experience there. So we cannot stop the work of Allah. When Allah says, be, it will be. So that's a uh, very good takeaway from that. And uh, we are proud and uh, happy to see that the projects that uh, this DAWA team has brought to Zambia, has culminated into permanent uh, institutions, say for example in Kanfinsai, already existing, now we have got the Kapiri, Kapiri project. That's a very good also starting point for Central Province. We need to protect those institutions and ensure that we uh, support these teams. And I would call upon uh, the team from Federation of uh, Muslim DAWA organizations to empower the locals with the skills to uh, perform these DAO activities. So that in case you are not there, we have got the capacity to manage these programs, inshallah. Then uh, Sister Mariam also encouraged us to be uh, good family leaders, uh, for indeed uh, strong family leadership uh, encourages the growth of our religion, Islam, and uh, also proposed to engage women after, at the end of the program on a personal level. Sheikh Omar also encouraged the rallying behind the leadership of Islamic Supreme Council, put down our differences and work together and move forward. My brothers, having identified that we are not perfect, we need to tolerate each other and pray for each other and advise each other in as much as you may know a lot than I know. So basically, in, in a nutshell, these are some of the takeaways that I've uh, picked. There, could be, there is definitely more. And uh, we want to thank those who gave out questions uh, and the responses that were given.